Hello there, this is Dango1867. Hope you're all feeling alright today because I am Tickety Boo and it's the return of the UFC pick series on the channel. Uh, hopefully, you're going to enjoy this. We're going to roll it out with the uh, UFC 191, which is coming up this weekend. I'm going to have a quick run through some of the fights I'm looking forward to and obviously my picks in those fights. And obviously, the first fight I'm going to look at, especially from a UK point of view, is Jimmy the Poster Boy Manora versus Anthony Rumble Johnston. And I am a massive fan of both of these fighters. I really, really love Jimmy. He's, he's easily the best 12 fiver in the UK right now, and it's by a big margin. And Anthony Rumble Johnson, since he's got himself at 205 and settled at that weight, has been an absolute revelation. Some of his fights and knockouts of recently have been amazing, and Jimmy is an absolute beast standing up. So this should be an exciting fight, probably going to have a knockout in it, and it's definitely not going to last long in my opinion. For me, Jimmy is going to go in as the underdog. He's been in there again with another great fighter before this in, in Gustafsson. And he, he came up a little bit short. And it did show the golfing class between the, the sort of mid-level 205ers in the UFC and the world-class 205ers. And again, he's willing to jump in there with these opponents. He's definitely going in against probably one of the top five fighters in the world at 205 against Rumble. And Rumble is no shirk in any department. Coming off a loss to Koroma... Not great, but he's definitely looking to get back in there with a big KO in this fight. I love both fighters to death. He has two of my favorite 12 fivers, and this will be explosive. I think Jimmy, unless he lands something early and gets uh, Rumble rocked, I think it's going to be a long or a short night for him. Either way, I think Rumble is going to push the pace. He's going to be aggressive, and I think he will knock out Jimmy in the first or second round. I'm looking forward to the fight though, uh, hopefully the UK can get a little bit of an upset, but for me, I think Rumble has got too much power, too much class, and it's going to go down to a, a big KO. So the next fight on the card I'm really looking forward to is two of the heavyweight giants on this card, it is Andre Arlovsky versus Frank Mir, two absolute veterans of the game, who surprisingly in their UFC careers have seemed to miss each other. Uh, until today so uh, this fight is going to be very very good both guys are coming on in on hot winning streaks both looking to chain a few more wins together to get that elusive title shot Frank Mir for me obviously has the edge in the grappling ability but has been relying on his, uh, his striking of late Arlovsky one of the most talented boxers in the heavyweight division uh, no slouch on the ground either but if it does hit the deck it is very much in Mir's territory and Mir's advantage it goes. If it stays standing and if Arlovsky stays behind his boxing and, in, and uses his power and his speed, then Frank Mir could have a very long, long night. But Frank does possess heavy hands, strong, and he is powerful. And if he does get hurt, he will look to bring this to the ground as quickly as he can. For me, it's a very, very close fight. And obviously, it could be a big deciding. Arlovsky probably only needs one more win to get himself up to, to title contention. Frank probably needs a couple, but it is a very much a turning point for both of these guys. And obviously, the big veterans will be looking to put on a show either way. Hopefully, it is explosive and not drawn out. And hopefully, we get a clear-cut winner. For me, I think it's going to go down to the fact that Arlovsky is just going to have the stamina. He's going to beat up Frank on the ground. And when Frank can't get him grounded, he's going to get knocked out. Though... Frank has power, I just think Arlovsky is going to have more technique stood up and a lot more speed. So for me, Arlovsky in the third round, TKO. In the main event of UFC 91, we have the title fight with Demetrius Johnson versus Joe Dodson. The rematch. This should be an amazing fight. Mighty Mouse for me is probably the pound for pound king in MMA at the moment. He looks unstoppable and only seems to be getting better and better as his reign continues. John Dodson is powering back into this rematch. Uh, he lost the first fight on a close decision but he's very much got the ability and the skill to take Johnson into the deep waters and potentially drown him. It is going to be a back and forth fight. The first one was absolutely explosive. Such an amazing fight. Both of these guys have got amazing ability wherever this fight goes. And it will be probably the fight of the night, if not the fight of the year. 
It is going to be very important to see who lands the stronger punches and whether or not Demetrius actually has to get into grappling mode. If it goes that way, Dodson's going to have problems. But if Dodson can land a few heavy shots on his feet and obviously keep up with uh, Mighty Mouse, then we could have a shock on the cards. If anyone is going to beat John, uh, Johnson at this weight, it is going to be Dodson for me because he has all the tools available to him and then some and that experience factor from that first fight. But for me, I've got to say Mighty Mouse is way better than everyone else at his weight group at the moment. I can see super fights ahead. I can see him submitting Dodson in the third round after basically running Dodson ragged. For me, it's still going to be the fighting at night. Probably submission of the night too. Look for an arm bar. Johnson in the third, keeping his title and super fights on the way. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. More UFC picks to go. Drop your picks in the comments below and see if you agree or disagree. Catch you later, guys.